Good afternoon, traders. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, and the U.S. stock market is closed. The Dow took a big hit today. Uh, we didn't have a very good day, but in my opinion, we actually uh, did pretty well given the performance on, of the Dow. The Dow opened lower and then just down, 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 down with a little attempt at a rally right at the very end. Regardless, the Dow ended up closing down a whopping 405 points a day. Uh, we closed out negative $12,000 in eight positions earlier this morning, uh, but we're only we're, we're carrying less than a thousand dollars negative in three positions going in to tomorrow. So uh, at least we didn't go buying a bunch of stuff as this thing was going down, and so our uh, open trade. Uh, the losses are very limited compared to what they might have been. Uh, I'm going to show you the best and the worst, which basically canceled each other out today. Um, the best one I'm showing you here is ENTX, which is Intera Bio Limited, and we bought in Terra right here in the middle of the day yesterday and uh, it closed positive and then a beautiful gap up here this morning we ended up selling almost a high tick of the day there beautiful beautiful trade because it trailed off uh, as the day went on along with the Dow going down and we took out positive seven thousand dollars in Intera Bio Limited, great trade there. Unfortunately, it was offset by uh, our worst trade, and that was in P O W L, which is Powell Ind Industries Incorporated, and we had bought this yesterday at nearly the high tick of the day and it trailed off all day yesterday closed against us and then a nasty gap down there this morning uh, so what we made in ENTX we lost in POWL we uh, uh, lost seven thousand dollars in this trade however uh, you know, there, you can even look at a loss and see some good things about the algorithm. You see where we got uh, out here, and if you see what would have happened if we'd hung on to this as um, a buy and hold strategy, it would have been a lot worse. So, anyway, we took a $7,000 loss in Powell, and that's just the way it goes. Anyway... Um, maybe things will go better tomorrow. Who knows? I'll see you then on, on Wednesday.